The thing about it is that we need to make a decision on who we are in Christ. We come to church and we dress up and we look good and we smell good and we walk good. But the thing about it is we acting good within. Why is your foundation is it solid for God to build his church upon? A convict Christian, he goes on and he tells me, and, and he goes on and he tells me that a convict Christian is no good to God because he don't love God. He loves the things of the world. Right, and then here it is, he tells me in 1 John 2:15. He said, Love not the world. These are the things that are in the world. If any man loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Yeah. A convict Christian don't follow the laws of the world of God. He follows the laws of the devil. And the thing about it is that he follows the things that the devil shows him. And he do the things that the devil tell him to do in the house of God. Because he knows that you are not a threat to his kingdom. You're not a threat. You're not a threat. You're not a threat. You're not doing anything to try to bring his kingdom down. You're not a threat. You're not a threat. You're not trying to build up the kingdom of God. You're not a threat. You're not a threat. So he doesn't worry about you being in this church. So he used this place as a penitentiary for the. Oh, boy. All right. You need to listen to me tonight. All right. I don't care if I don't get an amen tonight. I need a hear, a hear to hear tonight. Because the thing about it, there is a war going on. There's a war going on. And we as the church need to stand our standard. But we can't stand our standard when there's division in the house. We can't stand it when there's fight in the house. We cannot stand up against the enemy. So he loves what we do. He keeps us in this house. Jesus. Mm -hmm. It hurts. Yeah. It hurts because when God first made this world, He told the heaven the whole set us made man in our image and after our likeness. And then He goes on and said, I'm going to give them dominion over everything they I created. God gave us the authority over everything in this earth realm. And, and the devil knows it. That's why He tried to get us to. He tried to get us to say a word. He tried to get us to say a word to keep us in bondage. He tried to keep us in bondage. Hope I heard the things that you were saying. I'm glad you began to set your foundation right. That God can say, I can build my church upon this rock. Yeah. Because the thing about it without you even knowing it, that the enemy will have you doing things without you even knowing what you're doing. You're coming into church doing all these different things. You're paying your tithes and your offering, but it's dead seed because you're planting. This is a touch of message for me. This is a touch of message for me. Lord, I need your help. I need your help. A convict, a convict Christian. A convict Christian doesn't keep they don't understand the law of God. They don't love, know the love of law of God. How to love you one another. Yeah. How to love your neighbor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How to love your enemy. Yes, we come in the house of God and we sit on one side and the other family sit on the other side. We have some sitting on this end, some sitting on that end, and they doesn't even get along together. But we want to come and say that I will love God and I worship God and I praise God when there's division all over the house of God. And the devil is sitting there laughing about the situation because he said, I don't care how y'all come to praise God because you don't know him. Because the thing about it, you worship him with your lips, but your heart is far away from him. It's far away from him. It's far away from him. We need to learn how to get right, church. Because we are convicts trapped in the house of God and don't even know it that we ain't nothing but Inmates. We might not wear the whites and the stripes. Mm -hmm. We wear the suits and the pretty dresses in the arena. But we still in the same boat that a convict is in the state penitentiary. Mm -hmm. Jesus. There's no difference. Thank you, Lord. There's no difference. God said for Christians not to be hypocrites. Mm -hmm. Pretend to be something that they're not. Mm -hmm. If they're going to live for God, they need to be sold out. 
What do you mean, preacher, sold out? Sold out to all the things that the enemy has to offer to me. All the things that he tells me to do. I need to be sold out. Sold out means that there is no more. It is There's no more in stock. There's no more lying in stock. There's no more envy in stock. There's no fornication in stock. There's no more adultery in stock. There's no more lying in stock. There's nothing on the world that is stock anymore. Once you are sold out to God, what do you mean, preacher, being sold out? You need to give your will for his will. What do you mean, you preach about giving my will for his will? Greg McCall doesn't have a will anymore because the thing about it, if Greg McCall got a will, Greg wouldn't be here tonight. <laughs> Greg, Greg. I wouldn't be here tonight if I had a will. But my will is what God's will is for me. And my his will is for us to live accordingly to what his word tells us to live. And look at here, one thing about it. You can tell the ones that are incarcerated. Mm -hmm. The ones incarcerated, they'll come to church today on Sunday. Mm -hmm. And they'll sit way back in the back. Mm -hmm. Then when things be going good or whatever, you'll see them creeping out the door. Mm -hmm. They only want to come here a feel good. Mm -hmm. They don't want nothing that's going to help them to get out of the bondage they're in. They just want a feel good sermon that they can go back and say, Ooh, the preacher preached good, but they can't tell you nothing he said. All right, man. <laughs> and that's how the enemy do. He robs you of the word. He robs the things that they say. He don't want you to hear what God said because if you hear it, you might change the way you live. Yeah. All right. So he don't mind you coming to church. But the thing is, we need to be Christians. They're going to lift up a standard against the enemy. Yeah. That we're going to be able to touch his kingdom. That we're going to be able to bring down no wall. When you touch his kingdom, you will know it. Because he's going to get mad. The things in your house yeah. is going to be start going wrong. Yeah. A country Christian. Uh -huh. God even called the children of Israel the stiff uh -huh. Because they were rebellious uh -huh. to the law of God. No. Just like a stick country. He rebellious and fell into the law of the land. The Christian in the church is fellow to the word of God. If we look at a Christian of, in Israel, in the church today, there's no difference in them. We do the same thing over and over and over and over and over, and over again. Again. A convict Christian. So God tells me, be not conformed to this world, mm -hmm. but be ye transformed. Yeah. Be ye transformed. Yeah. Be ye transformed. Yeah. Right. Be ye transformed. Yeah. That means that something got to change. Right. Right. I'm not born to this world anymore. I'm not sick like I used to be. I don't do the things that I used to do. I don't go where right. I used to go. I've been transformed to who I am now. Yeah. 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 Once upon a time, Barry McCall was a son mm. In church, dad a preacher. Doing everything that daddy tell me to do. But one time he don't do it. <laughs> everything that daddy said that daddy is the preacher and not me. And I'm going to do the thing that Greg McCall wanted to do. But I was a straight up convict. <laughs> but the thing about it, God saved me. <laughs> and brought me out. <laughs> but the devil is using this place. <laughs> He's using this place as a penitentiary. <laughs> Because as long as he knows that you can't touch my kingdom, mm -hmm. he's not worried about your date coming to church. He's not worried about y'all taking up offering. Mm -hmm. He's not worried about y'all taking communion. Mm -hmm. He's not worried about none of that. Mm -hmm. Let you do all of that. Mm -hmm. Because at the end of the day, you belong to me. But here it is, we're thinking that we belong to God, that we're uplifting hands, that we're praising God. We're doing all of this, but we don't belong to Him until we get our life right. Yeah. Until we get our life right. Yeah. We are kingdom builders. Yeah. We are kingdom builders. Yeah. I said it once before here, what's the difference between a thermometer and a thermostat? A thermometer tells you what it is. In the church today is accepting what it is in the house. So that whatever the devil shows me, that's what it is. And that's what I'm accepting in this house. All right, all right. Mm -hmm. But God tell us. God tell us. We got to be that thermostat 
you're done. We got to be a thermostat. What is a thermostat? When it's hot, I can change it to it be cool. In other words, I can change the atmosphere of what things are supposed to be. This is what we're supposed to be to get out of the abundance of the enemy. A convict. A convict. A convict. A convict. A convict Christian. A convict. A convict. We can't serve two masters. We can't serve two masters. We only serve one. See, the thing about the Bible, everybody come and want a jump around a good time. You want to hear a good choir singing and everything. But sometimes when God got a word, a pure word, because the ones here is the one God wants to hear. Whoever want to be here, they want to visit. Jesus, come on now. God wants us to get our life right. We said this is revival. I hope that we need to be revived. We need to be revived. But people never look at the church house that's been a penitentiary. Look at how many fights go on in the church. Look how many arguments go on in the church. Look how many disagreements go on in the church. We as the church folks be sitting at home for the world. But the world is sitting at home for the church. This is what's happening in the house of God now. That the tone of the world is being set in the house. That's why the enemy will look at it. This is a penitentiary for me. I got all of God's folks in this house. A convict. Christian. The devil's job is to imprison as many people he can. Starting with the church. Amen. Starting with the church. And see, what well, people don't realize that the devil knows the word. I want to preach this tonight, but God told me no. He's a teacher. He's a teacher. The devil knows the word. He knows in 1 Peter 4 17, it says, For the time has come. That judgment must begin at mm. the house mm. of God. The devil knows that. So what the devil do? I'm going to go when he's going to start judging. Mm. Right. So I'm going to go and try to get as many folks as I can. I already got the ones in the street. Mm. I want the ones that's in the house. Right. So he is coming to the house mm. to begin to get the ones in the house to imprison them. The devil uses the house of God as a prison mm -hmm. to detain and confine the people of God in these four walls. Mm -hmm. The word of God said that who the Son set free is free, free indeed. Free indeed. We need to be free, church. Yes. Free. We need to be free. Yes. Don't let this just be an experience saying that I went to church. No. Don't let it be an experience saying that I went to revival. You have some people say that that boy didn't preach, but that's all right with me. Because as long as I do what God says, I don't have to please nobody but Him. As long as He pleases, He'll please you. So let's get right, church. Let's get this thing right. Because we are incarcerated, we bound. And we're wondering why so many people are sick in the church. Because we allow things to come in the house and we accept things like that the monitor. All right. If you say you're sick, I'm sick. And I'll accept that. Mm -hmm. We don't accept the thermos that where God said that by my strike that you already did. Mm -hmm. We accept what the enemy sent to us in the house of God. Right. And we the one that's supposed to be setting the tone of what the world system is supposed to be like. But we're not doing it. We are here confined. We are here confined. We are here confined in this house. Now we have to do a DNA on the penitentiary of the state. The penitentiary of the county 
the penitentiary of the federal. And then we do a DNA with the Christians in the church. Let's see the similarity of each other. If we was to do a DNA on them, first thing they do, they fight in the prison, they fight in the church. Check. They lie in prison, 